first wave of feminism began in 1848, the Seneca Falls Conference. It was the first time that women organized um, on behalf of themselves. They all happened to be abolitionists. They were opposing slavery. It was a movement for human rights, but they weren't equal members of this movement. So they turned their raised consciousness on themselves and their organizing skills on themselves and said, we need our own independent movement for our own rights. So that first wave of the women's movement focused itself on citizenship, and that's most symbolized by the vote. There was a swell of activism again, based coming out of the civil rights movement and the peace movement and the free speech movement. So the women who were part of these movements eventually turned their raised consciousness on themselves and said, we need to have our own independent movement for our rights for equality to be treated as full human beings. The biggest goal of the second wave was equality. That was the surge of activism that was the second wave. Rebecca Walker's article, Becoming the Third Wave, so she used that term, and that's because she, her mother was Alice Walker, and she was a daughter of the second wave, and she was trying to find a way to say, we're different, but we're part of we're part of this history. Third Wave was founded in response to a feeling uh, on college campuses in 1992 that feminism was in some ways dead, irrelevant, that women of my generation were apathetic, not desirous of working on behalf of women's empowerment. <laughs> 